Greetings. I like to introduce a special format of our presentations. We call them carousels, and the theme is fetal alcohol spectrum disorders. We present here concurrently poetry, music, song, an image, as well as the inherent ideas in them. This is taken in part from In Taberna Quando Sumum, a choral by Karl Orff. Let's start. First, you should pay attention how to best view these carousels. If you click once, the image will be enlarged. And if you click on the enlarged image, you will open a pathway toward links beyond the carousel and you will be able to go beyond those links if you so wish but if you want to return you have to close those windows in order to rehook or re-enter the carousel also adjust your settings because there are scripts above and below each image so let's get going again And now I will try to take advantage of the possibility of clicks. So I'm going to click on this image, the men drinking, but notice that there is a child drinking as well. And she eventually will be a maiden. And we can click on the enlarged picture to open new perspectives. And let's see where we end up. And we end up in this video. For crying out loud, it says. And we can then here skip, but you can see this video which lasts about 16 minutes. We can stop at Paradise Lost, which is a classic work known in the English speaking world of Paradise Lost. Indeed, alcohol can take us from paradise to hell. We can move a little further and you could see different perspectives but one, I want to stop for a minute to say that there is asymmetric drinking. Male seducing female, female losing the pregnancies or delivering babies that are handicapped for life. That is the fetal alcohol spectrum disorders or syndromes. And we can continue in the interest of brevity. We're going to close this window and return to the carousel And here you see a child that looks unhappy. We enlarge this image. And we enlarge it again. I feel like we need to explore more. And here we land on a master class by Dr. Warren, who at the time was the director of the National Institute on Alcohol and Drug Abuse. And you can choose if you go in this direction, a presentation in English or Ukrainian or concurrent, either way. This is a first enormously useful summary of what that institute with a budget of nearly half a billion dollars is pursuing scientifically to reduce the impact of alcohol, not only on the adults, but also on the unborn. Let's go back.
And if we click on this image, I want to show you one more short video. Here is a baby. She doesn't talk. She's developing slowly. But if the physician that looks at her is blind, then the cause is unrecognized and the therapy is compromised. That's why we all in the medical profession have to be capacitated to see what's in front of our face. This is a child that may or may not be impacted by alcohol exposure before she was born. It is for us to decide what is the cause. Let's go back. So now we have reached the end of this short presentation. And I think we should underscore that before diagnosis has to be recognition. All of us have to detect, recognize, and then we can always send children in need to particular specialists. I hope you visit our websites. Let's click on this. One of them, is presenting medical terminology, teratology, dysmorphology as clinical eye openers. I hope if you visit this website, you're going to find the contents of interest. And until then, please accept my best wishes. Goodbye.